To blur something out in DaVinci Resolve, I first want to isolate the part of my clip where I need the blur to apply. For example, I want to blur out this text on the side of the bus. So I'm going to scroll through here and you can see it moves off screen and I want to stop it just as that text is off screen. I'll use my blade to cut the clip there. All right, so this is the clip I want to apply the blur to. Let me move my timeline marker to the beginning and I'm going to switch over to the color tab and then I'm going to find the window options as indicated by this little select icon. And I'm going to create a new rectangular window and then I'm going to move and resize it so it covers the text. Next, I need this window to follow that text. So I'm going to switch over to the tracker window as indicated by this crosshair. And I'm going to press track forward and it's going to collect the data it needs to follow that text. And with that tracked, I'm going to move over to the blur options as indicated by the droplet and the triangle. And to set the intensity of the blur, I'm going to up the radius. Let's set it to two. So I'll enter the number two and hit tab. And let's preview our work so far. I'm going to go back to the timeline. So that looked pretty good, and if you were just following something that was always on the screen, the steps I just showed would get the job done. In my case, because the bus is moving off screen, things get a little funny here at the end. You could see the blur stops moving while the text keeps going with the bus, uh, and that's because it's trying to track something that's no longer on screen. So to fine tune that, uh, let's go back to the tracker, and we're going to enter some manual data. So I'm going to go back to the color tab back to the tracker window, and I'm gonna move the playhead to the point where it essentially stops tracking. You can see the tracking data levels out, and as I move frame by frame, you can see the bus continues to move, but our box doesn't. So here's where I want to start entering some manual data to move that box, and the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna switch over to frame mode, and in frame mode, anytime I move this box, it's gonna create a new keyframe recording that movement. Now I find it easier when I'm about to do manual adjustments to not have it blurred. So I'm just gonna go back to my blur and reset that uh, radius back to 0.5 so I can see it. And we'll go back to the tracker. There's our box and we're in frame mode. So once again, I'm just gonna go through this frame by frame and reposition that box around my text. And at this point, the text is completely off screen, so I'm going to move my box off screen. Let's turn our blur back on, and let's go preview it again. And excellent, that was much smoother that time.